Okay, uh, this is video two. Hi, Tobin Industrial again. I um, have got uh, three traces actually jumped here. If you were to look at what I have here, I've uh, connected one trace here, and of course from here to here, and then I jumped it back to here, the second trace, and the third trace is along here. It's the smallest wire I had. Um, if I give you a closer look, you'll see that it's probably not the best solder job in the world. And the reason being, uh, I lent out my soldering gun. This one here, and you can see it's corroded. And I think my next door neighbor may have left it outside. And it's not working as good as what it should. And I think right now it's quit because I plug it in and it doesn't power up. I am using this gun here, which is a uh, Weller... Uh, 8200, 140 watt and 100 watt. There's a double switch on it, of course, with the bulb, and and I got a copper tip put in there because the tip was burnt out. It's a bit too hot, even at low, I think, uh, and uh, I will concur uh, with Radio Nut when he says uh, that uh, you don't use, you're better off using a little bit too low of uh, heat than high because you, you'll end up burning the board. Like I say, I wasn't there that long, but I can see that if I would have stood there longer, it would have been damaged. Anyway, I'm just going to move this around now and show you now that uh, there's a couple of functions here that are working. I have the leads hooked up. Okay, I'm going to put it to uh, test continuity. Just never done this before, by the way. So here I go, uh, continuity. And when I put my leads together, it beeps. Fantastic. Okay, we have a battery here, a 9 volt battery, which is uh, used but not abused. And uh, we're going to put it on DC voltage, DC voltage. And what is this battery saying? 8.79 volts. So that's working fine. I have a variable power supply up here, and I will check the voltage on that. Uh, right now it's sitting at about 13 volts, I believe. So I'm not going to be able to look, but I'm going to guess that it's working fine. Let's see. 12, 13.8, yep. There's a variable power supply. That's working. I, I noticed uh, the PNP, which is in this area right here, uh, NPN for checking transistors. That did work. Although I went online and discovered how to control uh, this, this wiring here. Uh, it's a three pin wire and I don't know where I've got it now so I apologize about that but uh, it did test the transistors fine and now I think this meter is working okay but as you can see uh, I'll repower it I just want to show you this now because I don't know what what this means but right now it's reading I'm not touching the probes together but it's reading something here not exactly sure why if it's holding data or what but anyway, it seems to be functioning a lot better than what it is. And if need be, I will move on to another video and uh, to express different things that I've discovered. Anyway, thanks once again to Radio Nut for uh, his encouragement and uh, his teachings and his videos for uh, for helping me along. Uh, certainly wouldn't do to have done this a year ago, not even six months ago, perhaps. And uh, um, I encourage other people to watch uh, Radio Nut's videos. Uh, they're very informative. There are some other gentlemen. Uh, uh, people on YouTube, uh, there's a guy named Joe, I'm not exactly sh sure of his username, but uh, maybe in some other video I'll mention. He has some very uh, great videos and very interesting, so Joe, a shout out to you. Uh, Joe Gnome, I think it is, I'm not exactly sure. Joe Gnome, something like that. You may find him on, uh, on the internet, I think he's from Arkansas, and he does some gardening, and he does some excellent uh, restorations uh, and work uh, with, uh, with antique and electronics in, in that department anyway. Look up those two guys. Uh, certainly would highly recommend you uh, you look at those videos and uh, certainly a great learning uh, process. Thanks once again guys. Anyway this will conclude my video. I'll load this one up. Like I say as I uh, investigate further I'll see uh, what is going on with this meter and see if it uh, needs to be looked at and if I can't figure out what it is it'll certainly be looked at by Radio Nut. He's uh, already said this up to me. Uh, if I want to bring it into him, you'll look at it, and that's fantastic. And I certainly do appreciate that offer, Radio Nut. Thank you very much. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you soon.